yesterday. I said we'd give you a talk on uh, some in instruments that you might come across during your OBGYN rotation. Uh, one of the first things that you may be shown uh, is an amni hook, and the amni hook is uh, generally a long plastic instrument that's inserted uh, along the fingers. And at the very tip, as you can see here, there's a small little uh, hangnail or a little crochet type hook that will snag the amniotic membranes uh, for artificial rupture. Um, also something else that you may be shown would be the, the vacuum or von twos. Uh, it comes in various shapes. There's a, a kind of a plastic version, a silicone version. It's also a metallic version which kind of looks like this one, the Kiwi, which is a handheld device with its own uh, vacuum generation system. Uh, these other ones uh, would tend to use um, uh, an electric pump, whereas this is hand pumped. And again, it's just the Vontus for delivering uh, babies. And uh, you'll need to know some of the reasons and indications for vacuum or other instrumental deliveries. And then speaking of other instruments, uh, the uh, forceps has been around for uh, 400 and more years. Um, it hasn't changed much. Uh, there are a few varieties. Uh, the one that you tend to be shown is is the Neville Barnes or the Simpson uh, forceps. It has uh, two curves basically to it. One a cephalic curve uh, for the baby's head and also then a pelvic curve uh, which you can tend to see on the side here which fits the, the maternal pelvis. Uh, there's basically two kinds of locks. One is a sliding lock, which is on the Keelan's forceps, which isn't really used anymore. Um, and also then a hinge uh, mechanism, which is used in the ones that you would generally be handed. Uh, this is a cord clamp, and the reason I bring this up is because uh, occasionally we will show you filchy clips and people make the mistake. A cord clamp is exactly what it says. It's for clamping the cord on delivery of the baby. Other things potentially that you could be shown uh, is an amnioscope. An amnioscope uh, is used during labor for taking small fetal blood samples from the top of the head. Uh, with this, I'm actually demonstrating or showing the uh, light generating source. So light is projected down through this with the end of the amnioscope up against the baby's head for taking fetal blood samples when trying to determine whether an abnormal CTG is, is uh, associated with um, a low scalp pH. Um, so that's just something else that you may be shown uh, with respect to obstetric instruments. Also then moving on to um, suction curettes, women that will uh, undergo the surgical management of their, uh, their miscarriage or their missed miscarriage or their incomplete miscarriage. They tend to be um, made of plastic uh, with a, a, an open end where suction is applied at the proximal end. They come in different sizes and shapes and there's different mechanisms. But again though it's for the surgical management of uh, miscarriage. Uh, in the same theme for doing D's and C's either uh, for obtaining uh, material uh, from the endometrial cavity for the diagnosis of menstrual disorders or postmenopausal bleeding or indeed for as an alternative to um, the uh, suction curettes. Uh, these are the, the curettes that come in different sizes and they're either sharp or blunt, but again, they're just uh, uh, inserted into the uterus, uh, having dilated with what are called Hagar dilators. And the Hagar dilators then sequentially um, will uh, dilate the cervix so you can insert uh, your curettes. Uh, often used in association with the curettes and the dilators are the Sims speculum. Uh, there are various types of vaginal speculae. Um, the, the two main ones that you would be shown are Simpsons or, or, or Graves and um, uh, Cusco's. Uh, Cusco's speculum is just a, a single uh, hinge. Uh, Graves also will have a mechanism of enlarging the uh, aperture of the um, of the uh, external element of the uh, of the speculum, and also you may be handed a 
uh, a speculum that has kind of a color on it like this and also a ex smoke extractor and this is um, used in colposcopy and it's also insulated because you may want to perform a let's procedure or diathermy to the cervix and should you use diathermy with one of the other speculae electricity could um, come in contact with the blades and also cause a burn to the vaginal walls in the mother or in the woman should I say um, so speculum and speculae are something that you could easily come across other things uterine sounds these are just purely to get a measurement of the uh, of the uterine length or a spackman cannula which is used for um, uh, it putting dye into the cervix for performance of lap and dyes again uh, when dealing with the cervix uh, you could be asked to identify um, the the methodology of taking um, smears and nowadays they're taken with a brush system um, and the brush uh, is uh, made of plastic and part of it will sample the uh, endocervix and the rest will then sample the outer element of the cervix so this is commonly used and also you may be handed uh, the uh, the preservative that's used for um, you know for uh, obtaining uh, the cells off this the spatula and sent to the lab then for liquid based cytology again uh, along with uh, the or when dealing with the cervix um, you can have a a uh, cervical speculum which opens up the cervical uh, uh, os for looking further up the end of the cervical canal uh, should there be a, a city aceto white areas up the canal um, also you may have a Kevorkian um, biopsy forceps uh, for taking biopsies of the cervix um, also uh, something that I have left out and possibly here would be the uh, let's loop uh, which is a um, basically a wire loop um, on a on a stem uh, and that's used then for taking let's biopsies uh, from the cervix and that's something also that uh, you may come across endometrial sampling can be obtained in the uh, outpatients the papel um, aspiration system for endometrial biopsy is something that you may be shown and the way that works is basically it's like a long narrow syringe and when the plunger is withdrawn um, it generates a negative pressure uh, at the tip at the small little orifice there and endometrial tissue gets drawn in uh, so a sample of tissue can be obtained uh, the sensitivity and specificity is not as good as uh, hysteroscopy and directed biopsy but certainly this can be used in older patients uh, where they may not be fit for surgery again it's not likely that you will be given a hysteroscope in your OSCE but nonetheless um, it is possible and it's important that you're able to identify what a hysteroscope is uh, with the telescope element the light lead coming in um, and also then there are channels for obtaining biopsies and also flow of fluid um, into the uterine cavity uh, and also another exit one for taking fluid away so again something that uh, you may may come across on another vein he, in the vagina you may place uh, various types of pessaries there are a large number of pessaries out there the commonest one of course is the ring pessary um, and they may that may be a, an inflated version of the donut type pessary but from your own perspectives um, you may also be shown a shelf pessary uh, which is used for entraseal or vault prolapse uh, likewise the gellhorn pessary may also uh, be shown to you uh, also these ones here are the smith hodge uh, type pessaries and uh, these are cube pessaries so there's a variety of them but the most commonly used ones donut ring uh, and shelf so you, these are something that you may come across uh, also, uh, when performing laparoscopic surgery, we use the Verres needle, um, which has got a spring-loaded tip, um, and this is for insufflating the uh, abdomen, uh, and uh, this is for putting in carbon dioxide. Uh, following the uh, formation of the pneumoperitoneum, 
a port may be inserted and again this is something you may come across and this is allows the insertion of cameras and other instruments to perform the various laparoscopic procedures that we perform. At laparoscopy we may perform um, uh, tubal sterilization and this is the Filchi clip system um, and the Filchi clip is made of titanium uh, but it's got a silicone uh, insert on it and this uh, is hydroscopic and it tends to swell uh, after a period of time further compressing the tube. Uh, the marina coil of course is a Livornogestrel loaded um, device uh, it's a small T-shaped uh, system with the Livornogestrel uh, on the stem and uh, this is something as well that we may show you to discuss as a form of contraception uh, etc. 